Hey everyone, Happy New Year, and welcome to our first market update of 2023, where we unpack key market trends so that you're best informed to make the right buying, selling, investing decision for you and your family. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home soon, you probably want to know what you can expect from the housing market this year. In 2022, the market underwent a major shift as economic uncertainty and higher mortgage rates reduced buyer demand and slowed the pace of home sales, moderating home prices. From June of 2020 to May of 2022, we were in a red hot housing market. 30 year low mortgage rates, well below 3%, fast paced bidding wars and record low inventory Escalating prices resulted in double-digit year-over-year appreciation and buyers having little opportunity to negotiate home inspections or waive in inspections altogether. As we moved into this past summer, we saw the market slow. The Fed became super concerned about tampon inflation and so rates soared. They actually doubled in less than a year. Coupled with a seasonal slowdown and record interest rates, markets across the country slowed dramatically, including ours. So that's the past. Now what about 2023? Real estate is cyclical, and the worst of 2022 is most likely over, and in 2023 we will turn the corner. Market conditions have already started to improve. In our area, it remains a seller's market, mainly due to inventory, but the buyer has more negotiating power now. And I think that we will see a reversion back to pre-pandemic norms and a more typical housing market. The 2023 forecast from the National Association of Realtors, NAR, says, while 2022 may be remembered as a year of housing volatility, 2023 likely will become a year of long lost normalcy returning to the market. Mortgage rates are expected to stabilize while home sales and prices moderate after recent highs. Buyers and sellers alike have advantages and disadvantages to consider this year. Buyers this year should see the following advantages. They should not be facing extreme competition, no more panic buying. Buyers also should be getting home inspections again and being able to negotiate and often homes are selling below asking price. Buyers, I really think that this is an, a great opportunity. And this, this period of time right now, over the next several months, can be a really good opportunity for a buyer. Buyer disadvantages. Higher interest rates has eroded affordability. It simply costs more to buy a home now than it did last year. The low supply of homes results in less choices. Sellers, here are some advantages. The supply of homes remains super low. Demand for homes is increasing as interest rates stabilize. What does all that mean? Homes that are priced well and are marketed well are going under contract pretty quickly and sellers are getting good prices for them. Challenges for sellers. Right now, sellers are in two or 3% interest rates and moving into a new house may result in a 6% interest rate. Prices and appreciation levels are reverting back to pre-pandemic levels after the crazy peaks from 2020 to the first half of 22. So there has to be a little reset of expectations. What's all this mean? The DC metro area has many pockets and the market expectations can differ from city to city, neighborhood to neighborhood. We are more than happy to put together a hyper-local look at what is happening where you live. Please reach out if you would like a customized report. If you're looking to buy, sell, or invest this year, the best way to ensure that you're up to date on the latest market insights is to partner with a trusted real estate advisor. Let's connect so we can help you achieve your real estate goals this year.